All right, my friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Wayne, the founder of One Sober to Another. In this small video, we're talking about how society has normalized drinking to excess and acting a daggone fool and how we get sucked into believing that that's okay and how we can get above it and become better for tomorrow. You ready to go? Let's get it. All right, guys. So yesterday I was watching TV for the brief moments that I had, and I saw something that made me go, hmm. And that was on the news, the normalized acceptance that gratuitous and drinking to excess in college was a normal thing and how we might be if we break away from that being an acceptable behavior in our education system and the accepted norms of our uh, folks in college and how that may expand beyond that period of time and how it may even reshape the way society views alcohol. Now, I know a lot of us, including myself, believed believed i say past tense that drinking to excess was a normal behavior and actually it was an accepted norm amongst not only society but in the culture of the military where i had spent the better part of my life now that is not an excuse for how my alcoholism developed but it is in fact and i've said it before it's an enabler like i don't know shooting a cannonball through a cannon because that's how much of an impact that made in my life and some of you might be in a situation right now to where the way you drink is not only accepted it's expected if that makes sense like two nickels put your comment below because someone's going to get some of that folks and we all are here not only to shape the way that we see our new normal, but for those who are suffering from active alcoholism right now, they may be able to see that it's okay to go beyond what is expected of them because most people who view us in our alcoholism expect us not to show up, expect us to drink uncontrollably until we pass out, which if you're an alcoholic like I was, that's going to happen anyway. But they expect certain things of you. And if we can reshape the way that looks for the future, then perhaps we can come to an understanding that we don't need alcohol to be our solution to life. We don't need to have that be the normal behavior that people expect from us. I used to show up with a backpack full of beer at a party that had nothing but alcohol. And people expected that. Why? Because they knew that this guy was going to drink until there was nothing left. And then, folks, when there was nothing left, I just went to the old trusty backpack for my backups. And I just continued on until that was gone. And who knows where else I would have ended up from there. And if you can relate to that, you know what to do by now. So... How do we reshape the way that we view what is normal? Because for 23 years, folks, I thought that every day I'm supposed to come home most days and pop the top on a bottle, watch the, the gas escape, watch the condensation roll down the, the sides of the bottle. Now, if I'm romancing this too much and this is triggering for you, just fast forward. And then drink that beer as fast as I possibly can so that way I get started and that normally took six of those and I I thought that was normal to drink six beers in about 10 minutes I thought it was normal to order 30 beers in one night I thought it was absolutely the normal thing that I should be doing to drink until I pass out get up and go to work and do it all again i thought these things were normal because that's how i was brought up that men drink and that's how i was brought up that it's okay to have more than three in a sitting 
and I was brought up to believe that this is who I was destined to be because society is shaping me that way, so to speak. And again, not to blame folks, but it's just acknowledging that the normal accepted behaviors that are conveyed through not only media, through your parental figures or through your relatives or through your friends, that's what we become to believe is the normal way that we should be. Does that make sense, folks? If so, give a like to the video because that keeps it in circulation. I appreciate everybody who's here right now. And I'm only going to talk on this for a couple more minutes because, you know, I literally could go on and on and on. And what I think I'm going to do is put it into the live stream tonight. So my friends, it is great to see you here and shaping your new normal. It's not easy and it took me a long time. Well, I've been sober for eight years and some things still are expected from me that I have to not only brush off when people have a predisposition to how I should be, but I have to remind myself that my normal is different. My normal is now different and I don't have to be what people expect of me and the fact of the matter is, is that if I'm absolutely the opposite, then I'm, then I'm living my new normal and you can too, it doesn't have to look bad. It doesn't have to be all daunting and miserable folks. I'm here to tell you, I don't live a miserable life and I don't live an unexciting life. I do a whole lot of things behind the scenes that I never would have done in my old normal and in my new normal today i get to enjoy life one day at a time and folks that's what, what this channel is all about and we are here to support each other through it tell me what you think about this video and if you've gotten any value out of my little ramble a drop a like consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already because we are a community that's here to shape each other and help us grow and help us support each other in our journey Life is a garden, dig it. I'm going to see y'all tonight. Have a good day.